one. We need to flush out those people out of the law enforcement agencies. And I would love to say, a, a, a premier, I spoke to police X, Y, Z, and they didn't do these things. And the commissioner of the police must account on those things. We can't just let go and say it's part of life. It's way of life. Uh, uh, as long as I've uh, 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 registered this thing with the insurance, the insurance will pay. Or policemen that just take statements in the police station for sake of filling the forms. It can be. Police must track in uh, criminals. Police must ensure if goods were stolen, those particular goods must be uh, retrieved. Police must ensure if somebody is murdered, that case must be investigated and use the latest technology to ensure that we investigate. We are investing in forensic. We are investing in motor vehicles for the police. I mean, our provincial government alone, Sakina, we have given 245 new motor vehicles to the SAPS. Uh, because we value this aspect of ensuring that our province must be safe. Sakin, we can be the economic hub of the country. That title will go. If people can invest here, if people can bring their families here, if people feel not safe every 7 o'clock in the evening, people are locking themselves in their own houses as if it's their own prison, when we need to pump the economy. It can't be. Where people are scared even of their own shadows. If there is one thing, Sakina, I must be honest, that if I have to say I failed, I'll resign, is the fight against crime. I'm committed on that particular fight, and I'm prepared to put the resources that are needed there. And I need the leadership of all law enforcement uh, agencies to follow me suit. If they're not ready, the door is open. They must leave. So to- That's it for now, guys. And please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. And thank you so much for watching.